A White House official has just admitted to reporters on background, meaning the person won't use his name, um, that person has now admitted to reporters that the Trump policy for the country right now in coronavirus is what's known colloquially as herd immunity, letting the virus run its course through the American population without doing much of anything to try to stop it under some vague idea that somehow you will simultaneously protect old people and otherwise vulnerable people while you maximize the number of Americans who are infected. The White House now admits this is national policy for the United States of America on COVID. In an interview with the Washington Post today about the White House now admitting this is what they're trying to do to the country, NIH Director Francis Collins said this, quote, what I worry about with this is it's being presented as if it's a major alternative view that's held by large numbers of experts in the scientific community. That is not true. This is a fringe component of epidemiology. This is not mainstream science. It is dangerous. It fits into the political views of certain parts of our confused political establishment. He said, quote, I'm sure it will be an idea that someone can wrap themselves in as a justification for skipping wearing masks or social distancing and just doing whatever they damn well please. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. it it's the fantasy of petulant children who just want this pandemic to be over, who want to ignore the reality and want a quick fix to what everyone's been feeling without understanding the facts on the ground that a quick fix is not possible. I mean... This is the policy that Sweden implemented, which has been an abject failure. So now the U.S. and Sweden stand alone as the only nations with high overall mortality rates that haven't been able to meaningfully reduce the death rates as the pandemic has continued. But the Trump administration sees that and goes, that's our strategy. The one that doesn't work. That's for us. <laughs> Of course. I mean, the writing's been on the wall about their clear attempts to try to go with this um, in order to pretend everything's okay. The bringing on of Scott Atlas, who is a complete crackpot, who doesn't know any anything about epidemiology. Uh, he's been working behind the scenes and pulling some strings on this nonsense herd immunity thing. And now they are pushing this document that... It, is completely questionable that pushes for herd immunity. Um, and it says it's from doctors, but it contains a bunch of fake signatures and also signatures from questionable people. White House officials have promoted a declaration supporting herd immunity that has reportedly been signed by fake names, the New York Times reported Tuesday. In a Monday phone call, White House officials called the Great Barrington Declaration, which argues that the government should push for herd immunity with more infections among the healthy population, according to two senior administration officials. The declaration has been signed by 445, 902 concerned citizens, 9,510 medical and public health scientists, and 25,049 medical practitioners, according to its website. But Sky News found last week that dozens of fake names have signed the document, including Dr. I.P. Freely, Dr. Person Fake Name, and Dr. Johnny Bananas. Another signature called himself Dr. Harold Shipman, a general practitioner in the United Kingdom. In 1998, a man named Harold Shipman was arrested after killing more than 200 of his patients. That is hilarious. The declaration was also signed by at least 18 self-declared homeopaths who signed as medical practitioners and 100 therapists, including massage therapists, hypnotherapists, and psychotherapists. Several health experts expressed concerns that the declaration is misrepresenting the size of the medical community's support for the herd immunity approach, according to Sky News. I hope the Trump administration, the Trump campaign, actually runs an ad. Dr. I.P. Freely says herd immunity works. MAGA. Vote Trump 2020. <laughs> oh. 2020 and the Trump administration, it's stranger than fiction, guys.